everyone. Uh, what I've done with the, some of the lint, vint, blah, blah, vintage vintage lace is I did colour it and I've done it using this one which I haven't used for a long while which is the Crafty Notions Creative Colour Sprays and this is the Shake and Spray Black Star Silver. Um, <coughs> because I am going to be doing um, a Shabby Chic mini book but I just want Shabby Chic stuff in it. So these laces and trims and appliques are ideal and this is what I've done to some of them that I'm going to use in the book now it does give it a silver hue but this is so fine this detail and this work it's amazing it really is and uh, I've just colored it and ironed it and that applique you know look at it it's stunning so I've done that one I did do three of these as well some of it's a bit patchy, but I'm not bothered about that because it is shabby. You know, it's that shabby look. They're just, they're just gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I've noticed, which I'm going to show you with, um, wherever I put it, this one. I thought that was a doily, but it's not. It goes that way. And it's an applique that goes with that. It's a... An original applique that's been hand crocheted. Well, not hand crocheted. They're done with the pins. You know, where their little holes are. That's where the pins sit in. With the bobbins. And, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. And, um, so you can see what turned out once I'd ironed it. It was an applique and not a doily. So that's an original applique. Absolutely gorgeous. I most certainly will be putting that in my book. Then I've got some of this. Do you remember that one? It's, it's, it's all patchy on the underneath, but I did turn it front and back. That's that original lace. It's stunning. Look at it. It's breathtaking. And you actually see more of it like this in this colour. Very, very delicate. You can see how fine these lines are. I was blathered. I, my hands were black, black, black. Because <laughs> I didn't wear gloves, but I managed to uh, get a lot of it off. But isn't that stunning? It's just breathtaking, it really is. So that's that one. Again, there's another big piece of it. Like that. So that's going to do quite a bit in the book that I'm going to be doing shortly. Um, again, I did some of this. And because it is, it's a silver black, a black silver, it's come up both colours, which I'm pleased about. I do like that. Even though it looks a bit patchy. It's uh, still gorgeous. I'm going to get a decent amount of use out of that. Um, do you remember the long piece? This one. I mean, the silver on it is gorgeous. That's that one. And uh, and then this one again. It it's, looks patchy, but it's not. It's silver and black. That's quite a unique look. And so, um, I look forward to using it, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one. Again, is off the same applique set. And these will have been panels in a dress or a blouse. I would imagine in the, the piece that goes over the blouse or over the dress. It's a panel. And I really do like that one. Some more of that. And the last one I did was this one. Because I can use that up the spine of the book, which I will do probably, and uh, you know, in the book itself. So I just thought I'll show you that, share that with you. You know, um, I'm quite looking forward to starting the book, and I might just do the book with you so that you can see for the newbies how to put a book together. Won't be long. <laughs> 